Hi guys, my name is Parag Paul and welcome back in my new lecture. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about how to create a staircase modeling okay, in ATAP. But before that, I would like to share you a few points. Now you just start preparing the center line plan in AutoCAD like this. Okay, because this particular plan you need to import okay, in ATAP and then we can go for the analysis. Now for the same plan, I can show you the one uh, model what I created in ATAP for one project I have. Okay, I took one project of the analysis and building using the earthquake uh, time and history analysis where you can see this model consists of the staircases, slab, beam and column. So this staircase modeling we are going to discuss today how we can model this staircase, right? So let's get started. So now, first of all, what you have to do, go to the ETAP, same particular uh, model, I'm going to not going to import in this ETAP file, but I, we, we will use the grid pattern today. Okay, so click on okay. After that, we will use a grid pattern. In X direction, I'm just selecting the two column. In Y direction, also I'm selecting the two column. Okay, and the spacing is I'm providing as a, you know, the three meter only in X direction. Okay, in Y direction it kept as a uh, 5 meter, okay, or 3 meter itself, don't worry. Okay, and the height of the story I kept as a 3 meter only and click on OK. So as you click on OK, a simple single story building you can see, right, a simple three story building what we created over here, right. So you can see in 3D modeling also and in 2D also you can see properly. Okay, so now just go to the our all properties, just create the material property first, okay, add new go to the India okay select uh, concrete of sorry concrete of m30 grade of concrete click on okay then go to the frame right click add new property this one okay add column of 300 by 300 okay 300 by 300 click on okay after that just drop one uh, beam over there right add new okay beam I can tell you how can make the default properties or if you want to make it a default things in a e tab you can also go with this okay don't worry about that I'll teach you properly watch the video this uh, till end just do this series properly you will get to know the loss of things now also you need to create one slab section okay just create a slab section okay i'm just giving the name as a 120 mm 120 okay and selecting the m30 grade of concrete and the writing 120 over here click on okay after that by assigning everything just click over here okay when you click over here remember one thing very important here okay if you want to assign if you want to assign the beam at a single time to all this beam collected beam so what you have to do just click in a 3d view go at down click on all stories right then again click in this uh, window click here okay and the selected the beam first you can see the all beam is selected now you can see all them are in 3d right Clear? Now you can see I assign the steel pattern. I don't want to assign it. Click on Ctrl Z. Okay. So click over here. Go in this. Select the beam first, right? And just click in this pattern and select assign. Okay. You can assign this properly. Understood? Now after that, what you have to do? You need to assign the column. Just click on here. Okay. Column. Okay. No need to do anything over here. If you make all story, it means whatever you are going to assign, it will automatically reflect over here. Select this, select the column. Okay, select the column. Click, just select, 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 and the selections. Now you need to add the beam also. Uh, sorry, the, the slab also. How you can do? Just go over here. Okay, and select the slab of 120 mm. And draw the slab like this okay so you can see we did all things over here but now we want to assign we want to assign the uh, staircase in this model so i'm going to delete this slab now because i really did not required it okay i created the slab for only the staircase modeling right so you can see what we have to do just select this pattern and select this rotation cursor come here and just select your left click and just you can hold it so you can it it will be moved properly okay so now 
look my staircase i want to bring it like this that the person will go from here okay go till here okay move and then move onward okay that kind of pattern i want to create okay so i'm considering that there is already few slab is available like you can see in this grid pattern in this plan if my person is start uh st starting on a staircase so he can come over here okay sorry not here okay just wait a minute okay so he can come over here like this okay and then go like this right so this particular pattern he can move there is a no lift at all okay i don't know why it is here okay so if i create a if i create this particular pattern so it will work like this okay just wait a minute okay i'll tell you properly so you can see like this so he will come from here okay and then enter in the dining hall or if you if you want to go up upstairs so he can just take a turn and just go out of upside and there will be one slab okay one extra slab of 1 meter or 0.8 meter will be available so what we have to do is we need to create we need to create the slab here okay or you need to provide one extra space for you know for the tending for the taking the extra space or taking you know some movement so how we can do this just select any beam okay what what we are going to do just select any beam click control c and control v so i copy and i paste okay so control c and control v when you click this so this kind of pop up will generate automatically now you can see in x direction if i want to exit this in x direction so what i'm going to do is i want extra slab more than uh, available space or in the uh, existing space if you want in existing space you can give the minus direction if you want to exit uh, if you want more slab you can exit the beam outside now i want to just exit it uh, inside itself so i provide minus of 0.5 so i took minus of 0. Uh, 0.5 3 meter 3 5 I'm taking inside so click on ok so you can see the extra beam is created over here now right so what we have to do I took more than that so select ctrl C ctrl V and click over here 0 0.5 so you can see the 0 0.5 this particular distance is created now obviously there must be a one joint is created over here whenever there is a beam there should be one joint understand now what we have to do also this particular beam we have to lift it at the bottom or you can lift this particular beam at the bottom okay because whenever it will start it will get reflect it will connect over here it will connect here and then connect over here okay so this particular beam pattern is very important so now i'll select this particular beam click ctrl c and ctrl v and take it bottom make it zero in z direction you need to take it at bottom direction of minus of okay minus of 1.5 in middle of the portal frame i want to took this okay so i bring this particular beam at the middle of the portal frame now what i am going to do is first i need to create the slab over here okay and there is a particular beam i need to add so how you can add the beam okay select this beam okay select now we have to just bring a single beam at the bottom how we can do this just select one one story select this beam control c control v make it as minus 3 okay so you can see the beam is only reflected at the bottom now we need to divide this beam in two pattern okay so divide this beam okay or you need to divide all you no need to divide all beam in a two pattern but this beam you need to divide in two pattern okay so how we can do this select this one go to the edit go to the edit frame divide frame and in how many how many uh, patterns you need to divide it just select on that so i want to divide in two frame objects so click on just enter the two click apply and okay so you can see it divided into two pattern now again i want to divide this also in two patterns so select on the all story select this beam go to the edit edit shell divide two patterns i want to create and click on apply okay so it also get divided into two patterns right now after that 
you need to create a slab over here already the slab exists over here that's why i'm not creating but here the slab you need to create understand so go over here okay and select the slab whatever you want to create it for a staircase okay and just select the point one two three four and again five so you can see the slab is created for this particular structure itself understand now uh, again this particular slab need to be divided in two pattern so how you can do this just select the slab okay like this select the slab go to the edit go to the edit shell and divide shell okay and this should be one by two apply okay so you can see the one by two division has been made okay now at the bottom we really not require this kind of the pattern okay we not required the any sort of uh, slab over here so we can just delete this particular slab so select this only one story okay just wait a minute one story select this delete and delete we really don't want that slab now after that you need to draw the pattern the pattern should be drawn by this command only so select this command okay select this first object select the second object third joint okay fifth joint and the sixth joint so you can see the staircase has been created so i'm just minimizing these things okay now again i'm going to control z these things okay i'll go to show you properly so select first as a all story because when you draw at the bottom it makes okay it will directly create the story pattern okay so i'm first of all i am creating for one story itself because at the top story okay it will reflect in different way understand so what we have to do is just select this pattern okay select here click second third joint fourth joint and fifth joint understand now first second third fourth and fifth first second third fourth okay and fifth understand first second third fourth and fifth first second third fourth and fifth okay again here first second third fourth and fifth right so this particular kind of portal frame we created so what we did okay what we did you can see if you want to rotate this pattern just click on this 3d 3d window over here just click here rotate okay and just select the only button and don't remove or release it just skip it and you can move like this model okay so you can see your model like this if you want to see in 3d click on 3d and move and enjoy your video okay like this understand so you can see like this so what exactly it reflecting how it will work so first of all your person will travel travel from the bottom it will travel over here okay here will be one slab okay here one slab will available he will take if he wants to go upstairs so he will take turn from this side he will take a turn from here and go upstairs okay when he come at this certain point okay he will take turn from this direction okay wait a minute okay he will take turn from this direction like this and go upstairs right so this kind of modeling you need to do today try it practice it and if you have any doubt Ask me. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.